Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Timberborn, the Beaver City Building Game. Where last time, we built an artificial river so we could fill it up with water wheels and power a massive industrial complex, allowing us to effectively play the game in creative mode so we can start on some, um, insane mega projects and other fun stuff like that. But first, thank you so much everyone in the comments below of the last video. Oh wow, you guys helped me out a ton. So we have this river that starts over here, right? And it goes to here where we've made our artificial river, off to the right. But then off to the left we have Lake Sippy. And Lake Sippy is where we get all of our water during droughts. So what I had before was a bunch of dams so that when the water came in, half of it would go to fill Lake Sippy and the other half would go to run water wheels. Problem is though, the water wheels wouldn't run while Lake Sippy was filling up. So you guys had the excellent suggestion to Hey Kibbs, why not have the dam to fill Lake Sippy at the end of the water wheel line? So I did that. Now we have some dams down here. So now, Lake Sippy gets filled, and the water wheels run at the same time. Way more efficient, very good idea. Thank you everyone in the comments. And I got a cool tip for you guys that I just found out. But if you press Control H, you can go into like a screenshot mode. So you can actually look at your beaver city without all like the pause buttons and all that nonsense. So clean, so crisp, so beautiful. And if that helped you out, remember to leave a like. And today we're going to start with our first mega project. We are going to build something massive here that goes to the build sky limit of this game. I don't know how high we can build, and yeah, we're going to find that out today with what we're working on. What we're going to call this is the Infinity Lodge, where we're going to build housing and storage and all that jazz up to infinity. <laughs> because why not? We have a thousand logs on deck, we have over five Jeez, almost 6,000 planks. We have infinite resources. Why not do stuff like this? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cover this in platforms so we can start building up and we're gonna have a ton of fun. Oh, and I almost didn't notice. We have almost a thousand explosives. You better believe we're gonna be using those two today. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Okay, but while we let this platform kind of settle itself out, we're gonna wait for this drought to end to actually see if the new system here works. What could happen is all the water from here could overflow and, you know, that would cause, you know, flooding and flooding would not be good. Or it will work as intended, where all the water will flow down here and go through the dam and not cause any problems. So let's just relax here and wait a boop. So it's go time. Will it work? Will it not? Uh, let's find out. Literally right now. Okay, drought's over, right? Come on, drought's ended. Water will flow again to feed Lake Sippy and our power network. Is it flowing? Oh yeah, you can just barely see it. It's moving, it's grooving. And there go the water wheels, yep. Good, good. Our unlimited power returns once again. And then it gets to the end here, good. Just kind of worried, will it power everything? Of course it will power everything. Flowing down there, excellent. Now I have three dams back here. So that is the same I had before, so there shouldn't be any flooding. Okay, I guess we have to wait a bit and keep the situation monitored. Wow, and also look at how low Lake Sippy went. This usually goes to like the very top of the levee there. Crazy. Anyway, something to keep an eye on. Right now though, let's get the industry started back up. We got the power, we got the workers. Let's let it rip. There we go, we need all the planks, we're gonna need a little bit of paper, we're gonna need explosives out the wazoo, and that's good to go. And building! This is all right as well. Let's have some fun. So we're still kind of near like the lower levels, quote unquote, of our foundation. So we really need to have a ton of storage ready to go, because as this gets taller and taller and up to space, we don't want the beavers running from like the paper mill here up like 16 stories of stairs. No, that, that would be a little crazy. So let's have some storage here, there, and the other place. That's not bad. And then what do we do with the rest of the floor? Well, that is clearly a spot for a statue if I've ever seen one in my life. There we go. I'll make a staircase up for, so the beavers can build that. And then housing. We need lots and lots of lodging. We have like almost 300 beavers now. And I don't think the other districts can support that so uh, when the other districts start to starve we'll have them all move to here or something probably I don't know man see how things go 
in progress. And, you know, I don't know what to do with the houses in here. We're gonna stuff this area with houses for sure, but it's like, how? Maybe we should have a staircase here? I don't know. I'm gonna give that a second. Instead of worrying about the houses, we need to worry about logs as well. The only reason why we have 2,000 logs stored is because we don't have enough storage. Like, each of the log piles here can hold 180 logs. We need to store more for projects like this. So while we're close to the ground, we're gonna have more log storage now. So we'll have them kind of placed like this, stack them this way, and then we can have a staircase going up here. This is kind of like the perfect place for log storage too, or near perfect, because all the beavers have to do is go from A, go up this way, that way, the other way, out and around here, and log storage is right there. So it, it's, it's a little far, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's a good place to store some logs for later. Because then, to take the logs over to our production, you can have a path that goes from here to there and straight into the production zone. So it works. It's a midpoint. <laughs> it should be relatively efficient. But even more logs are going to be required. So let's build another two piles like so. And have some staircases and walkways so they can be accessed. And that should be sufficient. That's 180 times what? Eight log piles? That's like 1,400 ish? Yeah, that's a good addition there. Maybe even good for the district, considering all of the other log piles we already have. Okay, then to figure out the housing crisis. Well, I figured out something for the housing, but in better news, check it out. No flooding. The Lake Sippy is filled and everything's working as intended, so. We're all happy there. Great solution. As for the housing, yes, it looks very efficient. I know, and things got pretty weird. I decided though, since this is gonna be like a super tall structure, that it'd be good to have a couple balconies on like the lower levels here. So, you know, got a couple little hangout spots for the workers to overlook the factories and just relax a little bit. Be like, hey, how was work? Great. What else did you do today? Work. Fantastic. The life of the beavers. And also, I want to have some balconies around so we can have things get a little crazy and creative, right? Like, logically, what we should actually do is make some kind of repeatable pattern and then just stack that to the moon. But I want this place to have some character. So I want things to be weird. Less random balconies everywhere. Statues for no reason. Why not? That kind of stuff. You know what would be really interesting, too? Let's just fill this all out and I'll show you. Wait, wait, look at this. This is even more weird to show you. Why? Why is this a thing? What? You can build specifically on like the corners of these little resting places, but not anywhere else. I guess that's a bug. Oh, dude, that, that, that messed with me. I saw this really briefly and I was like, wait, you can build over top the entire rooftop terrace thing? That would be amazing. But that is not the case. It's just weird. Now, anyway, the actual cool thing I wanted to show you is that over here, I kind of want to have like... <laughs> Stay with me here. A wizard's section. I know. Uh, but yeah, we can have like a, a huge tower right there. And then we can have some science buildings just right over here. That kind of looks cool. Oh, wait. And there are rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can unlock all these like roof tile things. We can have a little roof there too. So that's cool. It's like a little wizard corner. All the smart people kind of hang out there and do their thing. And also, it serves the other purpose where I don't want to have anything too tall next to the statue. It's a statue. It has to stand out. And people should enjoy it, I suppose. So let's have another rooftop terrace right next door. And then the rest of the floor... I don't know, more storage, I suppose? More houses? Yeah. Well, definitely more houses. Yeah, let's just have a little bit more storage here for now. Then we'll just stuff in a ton of housing. Ooh. And another drought's coming? Hmm. Well, we'll see what's going on with that. But first, look, the wizard's area. So fancy. So cool. And the housing area is, is, is um, very unique. But yeah, I, I realize we should actually have more storage up here too. So more storage houses. Put some like, quote unquote, mini warehouses here too. Just because, man, we're going to stack up on so much of everything. We may as well. Uh, the rest of it's like housing. We got a little... Rooftop terrace there. And it's looking good. It's looking good. I've also started to develop like a staircase. Well, another one on this side of the build. So we have a main staircase here for people to go up and down. We have another one here from like the production area to in the storage. 
they have another staircase here so people can like sneak around everywhere and then of course our main staircase which is right there and that should be fantastic lots of ways for viewers to go up and down okay drought's coming though so let's do a quick checkup we're almost at 300 beavers right so <laughs> something might have broken at this time let's check beaverly hills how are you looking 69 beavers nice uh-huh 400 ish food little spooky there keep an eye on that and then timber terrace how are you guys 27 food is that right 30 food oh boy yep that's that's not gonna work uh-huh can lake sippy support more beavers <laughs> Four thousand food and with the housing we have now we have room for 310 people in this one district okay well everyone's gonna be fine if you're homeless and starving don't worry lake sippy accepts all sure let's just send 19 beavers over why not over here as well guys gonna have some problems well guess what i have your solution 56 beavers let's just send geez let's just send 15 over boom everybody leave lake sippy is your new home yes migrate my pretties there is much work to be done <gasps> oh wait wait is it time is it time it's time i have wanted to do this the entire video game I think this is the right height to make a suspension bridge over to here. We have the other one down there, but psh, that one's a baby suspension bridge. We want the big one, the six by one. Give me that. Oh my gosh, this is totally going to work. And we can connect it to the main staircase here. You see, there is always a plan. And will it work? Well, we have to build this up a little bit, so un momento. Well, actually, let's just see if this actually connects properly. So the staircase would go to there. We would build the bridge there, and does it connect? Ah, oh, come on. Goofy bridge. Okay. Oh, wait, what am I talking about? Why am I mad? Why am I upset in any regard? The length here is literally perfect. It's the perfect sized bridge. Literally perfect. Wow, actually wow. And then over here, we just have to do a little bit of this. There we go. We lower that one, and behold, the perfect suspension bridge, ready to be built. That <laughs> is so cool. Oh, I love it. I love it. I guess this gets a little messy because uh, the floor is going to end up over here. And then I guess people will have to go like down a flight of stairs, which is a little odd. So that's just going to be how it is, man. And there they go. Oh, and I guess we have to do some weird district gate stuff as well. But we'll figure that all out in a bit. Uh, right now we got a drought. It's six days. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. Uh, if there's starving beavers in any districts, we'll send them over to Lake Sippy to hang out. And then we will continue to build up. We will build to the moon, I tell you, to the moon. So more floors, more platforms. And at this point, I think we're just gonna worry about housing and decorations. Like we're getting so high up that there's no point to have any more storage. Okay, so if it's housing, let's just have some fun. Now some big old houses there. We'll throw a house over here because it fits nicely. Over here, it's getting a little weird. Like, I'm thinking as we stack this place up taller and taller, we don't really want to mess with this corner. It's kind of an odd place. So let's just let beavers kind of hang out over here. You know what? We'll have some terraces. That's cool. We could have this here. Um, I guess we need water up here, honestly. Yeah, we need a little bit of sippy drink. There you go, bud. And we'll get rid of these. And we'll let just people chill in this corner. Have a little glass of water and relax. Okay. And then nothing kind of obscures the monument there either. Oh my gosh. Things look weird as a construction site. Back to the housing though. Our staircase is here, so we don't really want to fiddle with that too much. Uh, we have a stack of stuff going up this way. So maybe we'll continue that. We'll see. And then the middle will just be a mess of housing. So one, two, I, I guess? Three, four... Is this gonna be how it is? Maybe. Looks about right though. Then yeah, we just keep on stacking. And then we gotta have another district gate over here. That's gonna be an odd one, let me tell ya. Jeez, how do we go about this? We still want the beaters to walk from A to B as well. Well, we definitely have to have a district gate like here. And then this would go da 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 da, connected. Okay, great. Then we could just get rid of that. Have this go all the way across and then have a staircase down? That's decent. I guess it works. Sure. Sure. 
That wasn't hard at all. Man, <laughs> it's like I've played this game before. Okay, cool. Well, we'll let that all build. I'll finish up whatever design ends up being up here. And man, we really gotta think of what to do with the explosives. And then you know what? We need some knowledge. We have, geez, almost 2,000 pieces of paper. It's time to make them into books. So we can build printing presses to do that. Uh, these buildings are kind of like a late game thing. We'll just have like, I don't know, four of them over here. Sure. Uh, books are one of those things that buff the beavers, of course, like everything else here. And what do, what is all this? What do books do specifically? 20% working speed. It's pretty good. Fun. We build a carousel. Working speed is up there too. We might get to that today. Not sure. Statues. Roofs? Really? Effect of a roof is a working speed plus five. And the beaver statue's working speed plus five. Interesting. All these things are all separated now. The game keeps updating, so there's always new stuff happening. So I guess I'll keep on top of that. But also, if we're going to have these printing presses, we should be making more paper. There we go. And then back to the lodge. Things are looking weird. Very space inefficient, but I think this will work out for us. I think this is going to be our stackable design. We're at that point now. We got some cool character stuff over here. We have interesting stuff going on there. And then we'll just stack stuff up forever until the game stops us. Staircase wise, we'll just move the staircase over here. Then, yeah, we just keep on filling stuff in, man. Okay, so this project's kind of working its magic, looking good, and we can throw on some cool decorations once we get to like the tippy top. But no need to show you guys how that all works out. I'll show you how it looks at the end. Right now, this is making me mad. 1,400 explosives? Like, <laughs> we gotta use those. <laughs> Why have so many and not use them, right? So we're gonna start blasting everywhere, honestly. Like over here, destroyed. We will have all of the explosions so we can extend our logging area and get more wood. And same deal with the wheat so we have more food. Even though we're doing fine on food, uh, we want more beavers. So more food, please and thank you. Okay, and this is probably gonna be the biggest explosion we may ever have in the game. That, that's like a lot. That's like over 100 explosives right there, baby. Oh, kidoke. Let's let it rip! Detonate! Don't crash my game. <laughs> gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's do it again! More explosions! Let's start from the middle this time. Oh, there's a little egg there. I saw it. <laughs> Alright, we're not done though. More! We gotta keep digging and acquire all the food. Give me that food. Cool. Now do it again. Bigger explosion. Detonate! <laughs> that is causing some lag. <laughs> Alright, cool. I just have to take down this middle wall here. Probably bring the river in for some extra water. That's good to go. And look at that. It only used like 300 explosives for all that stuff. Man, we could... Oh gosh, what can we do with a thousand? Oh man, we're gonna be blowing up a lot of stuff in these next coming videos, let me tell you guys. But things are looking good right now. So yeah, it's all set up. We got a nice little pond there for some extra storage water. Same deal over there. Very happy, happy, very snug. Now we have all these extra trees we can plant. Beautiful. And let's actually have the other type of trees over here. Honestly, I forgot about birch trees. They don't really matter. They're just not efficient enough. But I'd like to have a section of pine trees just so we have a little bit of a diversity here. Okay, should probably leave this open in case we want staircases up there. More maple trees. Thank you. And the farm's already filled in, watered, good to go. Now, are you ready? Are you ready to see the Infinity Lodge? I've completed it. It is incredible. And I built it as high as physically possible in this video game. So let's go into screenshot mode. And behold, the Infinity Lodge. Able to hold 900 plus beavers. This thing is insane. And has the cool statue in the middle there, the Flame of Progress. For extra buffs for all the beavers living in here. I built a couple of roofs up top and the rooftop there, that's it. That is the absolute max build height for the world. Cannot build any higher. He won't allow it. And all the extra stuff we added on added so much character. Like, it was such a good idea. 
But the stackable pattern let us build very, 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 very quickly. I'm happy we have like so much diversity in it. Crazy though, eh? <laughs> Just absolutely insane. We have the cool bridge over there. Oh, I love it. I love it. You guys like it? I hope you guys do. This is only the first mega project, by the way. We still have a thousand explosives. We have all the lumber in the world. Like, ah, so much we can do. Oh, and check this out. This is probably one of the craziest things about this place. You see this bench here with the sign there? It, the sign is saying, this building isn't connected to any district center by paths. It's not connected to the district technically, but there is a path right there. Do you know why there's this error message? It's because the district center down here, after all the staircases, doesn't actually reach the bench. <laughs> this building is so tall that it's out of the district. <laughs> Isn't that just the craziest thing? So I was gonna build some extra houses on the right here, but it, yeah, I just built roofs because it's just too far up. Like, I, I think beavers will actually die if they try and move into like the top houses here. It's that tall. And that is just what I love. Oh man, that gives me so many ideas though. But it had to be done. Lake Sippy deserves no less than the Infinity Lodge. What a monument to our progress. However though, that's gonna be enough progress for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching, but have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye.